Hello everybody! Today I'm going to do a project for Artistic Studio Creations design team and we are going to make some embellishments. Um, I'm going to make butterflies and um, it's out of scraps and a couple things from the shop so we'll show you how to do that. So first I have these floral accessories and they have um, they they look like this and she has uh, I think a whole bunch of different colors so I got the white ones uh, I'm going to use my Martha Stewart butterfly punches but any butterfly punches will do I think almost everybody has butterfly punches obviously a die cut machine you can use butterflies um, or um, other die cuts, do a die cut, cut swap, uh, or you can just print them out on the printer and cut around them. So the other thing I'll be using today from Artistic Studio Creations is the um, scraps of my music from Stamparia paper. Uh, scraps from the mini album I just did and I have some scraps from uh, the rice paper I did on my junk journal uh, so those are all from Artistic Studio Creations I also have some scraps uh, and I brought out my beads and or flat back pearls these are tiny ones and let's get started so first thing I'm going to do for the larger butterfly and you kind of have to gauge you know how big your butterfly is in order to see what you want to use like if you're going to use these these beads obviously are bigger than this the tiny flat back pearls you can use other flat back pearls um, you can use, you know, the, the bigger ones. You can use, oh, what else? Oh, I'm sorry. I have an eye pen. Just an eye pen. You can get these super cheap. Any craft store. And Walmart, I think, has these. So you just thread your beads. That one's not going on making me mad. I'm just going to use the same color beads and thread them on here. And um, use colors that coordinate obviously with your paper. So I'm going to use some browns like I did on this guy. And then I'll do some blues. And I put one big one in the front, and then the rest of them are small. And you just gauge how big you want your little guy to be. And then the very end, I don't have a small one in this color, so I'm going to use its tiny um, gray one here. It's a different color, but... Okay, and then when I get to the end, you can use the crimp beads. I'm just going to cut off, I'm going to bend it just a little bit with my um, wire snips here, and then cut it off. I didn't bend it enough because he went flying. <clears throat> Oops, I lost my little bead on the end, so I didn't bend it enough. So if that happens, let's straighten it back out there. Thank you. 
and I'm going to use a glassy accent and in order to secure that last bead on there I'm going to put just a drop of the glossy accents right on the bottom and remember when you're using glossy accents it dries um, to the point where you can use it in about 20 minutes so by the time I get done doing more of these, this one I, I'll be able to handle. And I just got a piece of acetate here left over from a sticker pack. I'll put that right there. Okay, and I'm going to make a couple more of those just like that. Threading the beads on. And one, two, three, four, five smaller beads. Okay, so now let's punch some butterflies. <clears throat> I've got this huge Martha Stewart punch, which is what I'm going to use for the beaded ones. Just trying to get as much out of the paper as I can. a bit out of these. Now, um, to address this rice paper, if you just punch this rice paper, it won't work. What you have to do is sandwich it between two other pieces of paper and then punch it. out perfect if you don't sandwich it between two pieces of paper I'll show you what you end up with has his wing missing that's okay um, you end up with something like this <laughs> so, that one's pretty much gone. we'll do one more out of this one that I messed up and maybe I can get it all in there
Okay, so now we have quite a few butterflies here. And, oh, I'm going to go ahead. This is a gold doily, and I've used just about all of it. I used all the doily parts anyways. So... some of these off cuts with some craft cardstock. All right. Done with the punches. Okay. Now, the next thing you do is take two of a similar size. And I'm going to use our Distress Oxide ink. And you can use any color you want. I'm just using my brown because it's on my table. And Distress front and back because you will be able to see all of it. And I'm going to use like contrasting colors. So I used one that was like mostly brown and this one's mostly blue. And this one's really neat because there's like a line right up the middle of it. So I'm going to use this one as my bottom one. And I'm going to run a bead of glossy accents right along the bottom. And let's make this one, this blue. If you put the big bead towards the top or towards the front of the butterfly, that is the butterfly's head. And you line it up right under the head on the die cut. Okay, got a couple more of these. And then the other thing you can do on these is like stamp on them. Patterns, but these papers, <clears throat> I think they have like pattern enough. So on this one, I'll use the, um, I'm gonna use one of these for the bottom. the piano keys here. Okay, and then again right down the middle. Line that bead up. Let that sit and dry. Make sure your beads are all the way in contact with the glue. These are bent a little bit. Okay. One more. Let's do... Let's do this one. It'll make him my brown one. And sit him right on top. Okay, and then I think I have oops, two more to ink and then we'll set them aside while they dry and do some little ones. Okay, 
see what we can do with these little guys now. Have this one. Zoom in a little bit. And again, you distress both sides. I'm just going to use this plain craft cardstock here. Just the scrap I had laying around. And let's make let's make this one a three layered one. Where is my gold foil? We'll make him a gold foil one. My fingers are gonna be brown. All right, I'm gonna distress some more and I'll be right back. Okay, I have all my butterflies punched out and now I'm going to address my, whatever these things are, solid white stamen. And um, since I have white, I'm just going to distress them. Like I said, uh, Crystal has all different colors in her store so that would be way easier and much cleaner than what I'm doing now so uh, I'm just gonna make them all brown because that's what color I have out and you don't have to do the middle because you'll never you're never gonna see the middle You can also like glitter these. You can do all sorts of things with these. Look at that. Isn't that nice. I do have some other colors over here. I have black and pink. So I don't have any pink paper. So well, I mean, I don't have pink paper. I don't have any in this collection. Okay, so let's deal with the little ones because these guys are still kind of drying. Um, um, three. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my glossy accents again and start building on this butterfly. So you just put a line of glossy accents down. And then another layer, I'm going to use the gold as the middle layer. And just want the middle to glue down. And you don't have to worry about shape at this point. But you do have to worry about things sticking down that you don't want to. So I'm going to let that dry before I put my third layer on. Um, I've got this blue one here. My second layer for that one's going to be this regular craft card stock. And then we'll use some rice paper. These two are just, well, I think those are my second layers there. Um, Glossy accents dries pretty fast, so we should be able to pick up the first thing that we did. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We only have one, two, 
three, four, five. I'll just dress some more butterflies here. I think I made a few more than I intended. So I'm going to pick up the gold one and first thing we're going to do is fold the stamen in half and you can offset them if you want. That's what I missed here. You can offset them a little bit if you want. It depends on how you want your butterfly to look. Okay and then we're going to take our scissors and snap the end off there. And then right down the center of the butterfly, we put another bead of glue. And I'm right-handed, so I'm going to place the antenna with my right hand. And you just have to place them in the right place. Don't try and bend them up right now. We'll do that here in a minute. Okay. So just get them to where they're supposed to be. I have a Christmas hook. I'm going to move these up. There we go. I'm going to put another dot of glossy accents on them and layer another piece on top. Okay, just sandwich that down, line up your wings, and let it dry. There we go. Let's try it again. This one has the um, rice paper on it. right down the middle your antenna on another layer of ac ac glossy accent and wings make sure the wings line up Squish it down a little bit and set it off to the side to dry. Patience is a virtue. <laughs>
Okay. Um, these have dried overnight. Not because they needed to dry overnight, but because uh, my battery went dead. So, um, let's look at these. So, I mean, they're cute already. We're going to add another layer to them. Um, let's go ahead and do that. On the big ones. Just fold the antenna in half. And you can put those right in there without having to cut them at all. dry a bit and then I'm just going to sandwich this on top here and line up. Just like that. I made an extra little one. Should I give him? How about the white ones? Or how about the black ones? Let's do black. Those look neat. 